everybody, it's Sugar Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episodes, we've been working on Gelato Beach. In this episode, we're gonna finish it up starting here with episode 7. It's Shadow Mario after him. Let's do this! Yes, we have another Shadow Mario mission here. Just like every time we get up to mission 7 in a new world, we have a Shadow Mario boss fight. Now, he's gonna be able to wall kick and things like that this time, so he can be quite annoying to chase after considering he'll do things like the wall kick as well as the slide quite a bit just to go faster. Apparently, Miyamoto did know the speedrunning tricks in this game if he made Shadow Mario use them, so yeah. Um, anyway, he's not too bad, just chase after him. He's gonna go near that beehive right there, which. In the 100 coin missions, you'll be able to get a lot of mission. You'll be able to get a lot of coins from the beehive. There, just not quite yet, which I think is why we're actually going to skip the, doing the 100 coin mission here until we unlock some more stuff. Uh, simply because those, once you've unlocked more things, those beehives will give you a ton of coins, a ton of golden coins. Sadly, I should not. It's like still these. Oh, that was it. That was it. Okay, fine. They had no Mario Let's Plays complete without electrical beeps. And we look at me, I'm side. We I'm having too much fun with simple commands. If you hold L and you hit left or right, you can sidestep. I guess I never mentioned that before. And now for episode 8, the Watermelon Festival. This goes down as being one of the most annoying missions in the game. Basically, what happens is there is a restaurant over here that is giving away a Shine Sprite as a grand prize in a contest. Uh, whoever finds the biggest, whoever grows the biggest watermelon, and you can see those are the three runners up right now, or at least the three top ones right now. Now, I never got why they're allowed to do that, or how they're allowed to do that. I don't get it. Seriously. Their homeland is being destroyed and is in grave danger because they don't have all the Shine Sprites. So why should a restaurant be allowed to give one out as one to do a contest? They should... If anything, like, Delfino's, like, Department of Homeland Security... Security? Security should, like, come and, like, arrest them or something like that for treason. Whatever. Uh, anyway, the, you need, what you need to do is you need to just find a watermelon, not grow it yourself. I guess that would make too much sense. Uh, considering you have water and sunlight, I guess that would make too much sense. What you gotta do is, this is very difficult because if he gets too close into a wall, it'll just break. See, like that. You get a coin though if it breaks, so I guess you wanted to... Ah, never mind. I was gonna suggest grinding coins though, but you probably don't want to do that because that would just get too old. Now, it often will break without you wanting it to, well, without you wanting it to, obviously, though, but, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Whoa! Whoa! Where'd it go? Where the heck did it? Oh, God. No! No! Oh, I had it, like, right there next to the restaurant, just from, like, one push, and that stupid catacombs. Yes, the catacombs are going to destroy the watermelon if you don't get it, though, so... Basically, now what I'm going to do is turn this into a montage of all my failed attempts, and then show you basically me just getting it there. Because really, all I can suggest is spraying the cataclysms, jumping on them, collecting their coin, and then they're immobilized for a few seconds, and then you can sneak the watermelon past them. That is really all you can do. It's really difficult.
Okay, now that we got this close here. Careful. You need to work very carefully if you can get it down to the restaurant. Because if it goes into the water, it's going to pop and disappear like it does if you were to push it off a steep slope or if it were to get hit by an enemy. Well, actually, I think if it hits the water, it just disappears. Though, but we're not going to find out what it does. You can find it if you want to. I'm not going to. Push from the other side. So, uh, earlier today I got so bored that I went and I watched some of the 4Kids dub of Yu-Gi-Oh! It was really bad. I can't believe I actually liked that show when I was a kid. I mean, I kind of like GX though, but uh, I did not like going back and watching the original series. Like, I was that bored that I seriously felt like watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, but yeah. Anyway, he goes in and he juices that. Now, a lot of people try to get into the juicer to get down into where the shine sprite is, which is absolute suicide. Because you get hurt just from touching the juicer, though. But let me show you something that's kind of weird. Now, this is something I never got. Okay, it's suicide to try to get into the juicer, though, because the shine sprite is located within the juicer. So if you touch it, you get hurt. But you collect the shine sprite, and look at this. You are standing... Okay, I guess you're not... Yeah, you're standing in the juicer on the blades and you don't get hurt it's like what the hell anyway now we have 30 shine sprites though so if we talk to the sunglasses guy in any level we can now get our sunglasses but we're not going to do that yet what we're going to do instead is the submarine should have appeared by now uh, I believe it's after you've gotten oh I think it's 10 shine sprites I think it is but because we're getting all the shine sprites in order we can do that uh, we're going to not do the 100 coins or the blue coins for Gelato Beach just yet because we don't have enough unlocked to do those yet so we're going to go back and do this at a later time. Uh, but for now, what we need to do is just go to where that submarine is. Or, what submarine? Yeah. And look at look at the marquee down there. It says, like, Princess Peach has been kidnapped again. It's kind of funny. They're, like, kind of... got to get points for kind of insulting themselves a little bit with the whole princess thing. But whatever. Anyway, you get close to it, and look at Mario is walking from over there. We weren't even coming from over there. What the... Uh, Cutscenes. And... It's Shadow Mario. Oh. Wish I had a tongue like that. I'd be like the guy from Kiss. Be awesome. And we get blasted with water. I guess now we get to know how it feels to be our enemies. That is Pina Island. The villain secret hideout must be there. Yes, Pina Island, or rather Pina Park. It's my one of my favorite areas in this game, actually. Uh, it is the next area we're supposed to be going to, and yes, we can already go to the next world, though, but we're not going to do that yet because we're doing the worlds in order. Uh, we're going to be heading there in the next episode, alright? So, next time in Super Mario Sunshine, we're going to jump into this cannon and go to Pina Park. See you guys then!